guys, this is Fury Cat from Trio 6, and today we're doing a review of the Hair HLP21N portable washing machine. So, let's start with the overview. It has a green plastic lid right here, pretty sturdy. Inside, it's, we've been using it for like a couple years, and it still looks new. Once, when the clothes are getting washed, this thing turns backwards and uh, back and forth all the time. And these things right here, they eject jets of water while it's turning. Then, sometimes the thing moves like that. So, it washes the clothes pretty well, but if your family or the people you live with or the people who are going to use this, like I don't recommend having more than like four or three people using this because this, this thing might look large on camera, but it's actually pretty small, so don't get confused. And, yeah, but otherwise it does the job well. Okay, and looks at... Let's look at the modes right here. It says uh, you can choose water levels, the cycle, which is heavy, quick wash, normal, and these. And then start, pause, power on and off. And yeah. It's also got wheels, so you can move it around easily. Walking wheels, so it won't like, move everywhere when you when you turn it on. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on right now, just for you to see. And it's pretty easy installation if you don't, uh, if you want to do the temporary version. If you do the permanent version, it's, it might be a bit harder to do, but if you do the temporary version, you just have to take your faucet in the bathroom or in the kitchen or whatever, wherever you are, or, or wherever you want to put your washing machine. Remove the aerator, replace, replace the aerator with this thing, the connector. Then assemble the hose pieces in the washing machine. And then after it's finished, it, it's in the instruction manual how to do this. It will look like this. So it's pretty easy. You just put on like that this down and put it up. Connect, uh, put this hose over here in the tub or something. And connect the power cable to a uh, So I'm gonna do the quick wash feature right here because normally we do heavy wash in my household, but I don't wanna waste a lot of time in this video and it's not like I'm gonna show the whole cycle anyway, so I'm just gonna do the quick wash. So first it washes it, then rinse, then it dries it. In the heavy wash, which I recommend using the heavy wash for most items, it, it does the wash, rinse, empties the tank, spins it around a, a little bit, then repeats, then it, and it, it does the spin cycle, cycle again. Okay, let's turn it on. There's a buzzer in here, so, or a, beep, a speaker. So, and it beeps when it's done, so you know that it's done. Sorry if the lights right here look like they're unstable and blinking a little bit. That's just the camera. In fact, in fact, they're actually red, not orange. Okay. Oh yeah, and don't forget to turn the faucet on. This thing doesn't have a heater or anything, so you can't you can't just uh, turn on the cold water and expect it to come out warm here. No, we have to temperature the coat that goes in the hose. That's the that's the same thing that you're that's the exact same water temperature that you're gonna be washing your clothes. 
close with. Okay, so here we select cycle. I'm gonna select quick wash. That's right here. So select it. Then I'm gonna set the water level to low because this is just a demonstration. I'm not actually putting any clothes in here. So And start. As you can see, the water is pouring in. Sorry if everything looks a little green. It's just recording through the, gla uh, through the plastic, so it might not look very good. If you don't want to see the whole cycle, you can just skip this part, but I'm just showing it to you because, well, why not? It's filling up. The window does get fogged up a little bit, but the good thing is while it's filling up, you can just open it, make sure it doesn't fog up that much. it again but once it's actually washing your clothes then you can't close it anymore i mean you can't open it anymore for safety reasons you can only open it when it's running only when it's filling up okay it's almost to the low point see it washes your clothes pretty well you can see the best of water coming in, and this thing does a really good job of spinning the water around. Okay, I'm turning it off now because there's no point in showing the whole cycle. So. Pretty easy installation, does a good job of washing the clothes. And there's a, if you want a bigger washing machine than this, but you still want to, uh, want to keep it portable, there's another version of this. Exact same washing machine, but it's larger, two times larger, I believe. We never actually had that version, so I don't know about it. But I can't tell you anything about that washer, except that it's bigger and it has worse reviews than this one, but I can say that this one, the one cubic feet one, is a really good one. And let's look at the specifications. You don't have to read the whole thing, but just so you know. Has a pretty powerful 100 watt motor, zero, 134 horsepower and it weighs a pretty heavy 49 pounds but it's definitely not as heavy as the air conditioner I reviewed in this in a previous video if you have an uh, if your house has like you don't you want it to make like not portable you have to make sure that you have like one of these water pipes kind of like the one that goes to your toilet or something like that and a drain uh, pipe that just goes into the ground so it will be permanent but if you live in a small apartment then this is pretty ideal it doesn't take up too much space okay maybe it does but not much for a washing machine. We had this for a couple years. Held up pretty well. Didn't break at all. Still washing the fur clothes just as good as before. Oh yeah, I know. I did. Wash actually pretty well. Here, I'll do a spin cycle to demonstrate. Just an epilepsy warning. If you're uh, this had uh, the the washing machine may shake during the spin cycle, so um, you might want to skip this part or at least not watch the whole thing. So spin cycle start. 
Yo, camera man, can you zoom in on the video? Okay, I don't actually have any clothes in here, so I can just turn it off now. That's what I'm gonna do. Please subscribe to my channel, TradeCat1306, and if you want to see more cool stuff, visit my channel page, and you'll see more cool videos like this. Bye, see you in the next video.